I know a lot of people on the outside equate joining the military for a female with this GI Jane look. I get questions all the time about people asking if they need to cut their hair or shave their head bald when they go to basic training and that is not the case. You do not have to lose all of your femininity in uniform and in this video I am going to talk to you about how you can still look cute, keep it cute sis, while you're in uniform. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Army Princess here and welcome back to my channel. For those of you all who are watching me for the very first time, I'm Army Princess, US Army soldier. I've been in the military for over 10 years now and I love to share my experiences with you all to help you all become the best soldiers you can be. With that being said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Like right now, go ahead and click the subscribe button because you do not want to miss an upload from me. I am in the middle of my how to glow up. In the military series and it's a juicy series for y'all so make sure you click that notification bell with the all option so you are the first to be in the notification squad i am so excited to bring you all this video this is a video that i've been wanting to do for a long long time because frankly 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 is that how you say it frankly uh, it's some of us sisters need a little guidance and mentoring here in the military before we even get started i'm gonna tell y'all right now i need y'all to watch this video all the way to the end watching the video all the way to the end and hitting that like button really does help out my channel it lets youtube know that you're here you rocking with me you like the content and it will push my video up higher in the search engine so more people can see it okay okay so i have teamed up with the lovely sweet color here on the platform to bring y'all this video about how you can still look cute in uniform keep it cute sis keep it cute sis but remain professional sure you all probably know who sweet color is but if you don't know she is another female military youtuber here on the platform her channel is about her life it has a lot of military content day in the life she does a lot of travel vlogs she travels all over right now she's currently station in korea she does lots of makeup she has her own makeup line her own hairline so definitely go ahead and check her video out right after this i will leave the link to her channel in the description box but let's get into this video i want to talk to my ladies here about looking cute but looking professional in uniform and i'm gonna give y'all tips on how to do that so when you come in the military and you kind of go through basic training they're gonna give you uniforms if you should happen to gain weight this you need a bigger uniform the first thing i want to talk about is the standards and i talked about this in my very first video of how to glow up in the military if you haven't seen that go ahead and click here this video is only going to be talking about the army standards and army regulations so in the army ar670-1 lays out exactly everything that you need to know about the uniform how to wear it, how it's supposed to fit how you're supposed to put everything on where it's supposed to go to be a confident successful female in the military you need to at least know the basics of AR670-1. Hair, makeup, all those things tie into the wear and appearance, the wear and appearance of the uniform. If you want to see how I do my hair and makeup, then definitely stay tuned to the end because at the end of this video there is going to be a link so you can click on it to see my hair and makeup playlist. I wanted to talk a little bit about the uniform first before we even go into hair and makeup. So uniform is one of those things that is issued to you. It is up to you to make sure you have on the appropriate size i'm all down for the jeggings the leggings and the stretch pants but not during the duty day ladies this is one of my pet peeves and i just wanted to talk about it because i should not see you walking around looking like you got jeggings on and it's your uniform pants we're trying to keep it professional there are several ways that we can maintain our femininity within the uniform as you all know i am the girly girl so if i can opt for anything that's going to keep it cute keep it girly i am there which leads into my makeup i'm not the one to be afraid to wear a full face in uniform and when i go full face i go full natural glam ladies now you can wear makeup and i do get this question a lot can you wear makeup in uniform yes you can wear makeup in uniform but it has to be a natural beat in uniform we are not allowed to come to work with smoky eye or the cut crease we can't have 
type of lipstick or anything like that but we are able to wear makeup so for me i like to opt with a nice natural look i always go for a nice polished brow a small wing mascara and a lipstick so for my women of color i suggest you invest in a nice nude lipstick now the one that i'm wearing here is one that i really really like for uniform and this is by minted cosmetics it's in the color matte number five so as you can see it goes well with my skin tone but it's not something that is like bright and crazy and out there i also like to have a little bit of highlighter a little a little bit of shimmer never hurt nobody so for me there are different ways that i try to maintain a certain level of femininity in uniform starting with my hair i I'm not the type that likes to do the sock bun. Now the sock bun is usually the traditional hairstyle for most females in the military. But for me, it just ain't it. So for me, I like to opt for a short bob hairstyle like this. So we talked about hair, we talked about makeup, we talked about making sure our uniform fit correctly. The other thing that I wanna talk about is the accessories. So we are not allowed to wear earrings in this particular uniform, but we can wear them in our dress uniform. So for at any time you are wearing a dress uniform and you want to keep it cute, definitely pair it with a pair of earrings. Now one thing that you might not know is that you are allowed to wear a purse in uniform. So this is my purse. It's just a plain black Michael Kors purse. This is the only color that we are authorized to wear in uniform, but I think it looks cute. We got so many dang on pockets, you don't always see a lot of females wearing purses. But I think to stand out and to keep your femininity, if you want to, then you can opt for a nice, cute little black plain handbag. It can't have any kind of crazy logos, but this one is my nice little black Michael Kors purse and I'm trying to keep it cute. But on a serious note, ladies, we have to make sure we are professional at all times. So you can be cute all you want to, but make sure you're professional and you're displaying that outward appearance so that people continue to take you serious. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you have watched this video all the way to the end, let me know what makes you feel cute right now down in the comment section. I'm curious to know. And on that note, I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Hey. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, what are you waiting on? Go now.